If facts are the ammunition of debate, I'd like to point out that the other side of the aisle entered this room unarmed. This assault weapon ban bill is unconstitutional. Chairman Nadler even recognized when he stated that, quote, the problem is that these weapons are in common use. And in Heller, the Supreme Court ruled that the Bill of Rights clearly protects firearms in common use. The sponsor of this legislation said so in committee. He said, quote, spare me the BS about constitutional rights. With the words of the author of this bill, he says it will ban weapons of war only suitable for soldiers in combat. Is that what it does? Does it ban an M16? It doesn't ban an M16 or an M4. It bans the most commonly sold rifle in the United States today and for the last several years. And today, today they're coming for your guns. 24 million of them. As Thomas Jefferson said, the strongest reason for the people to retain the right to keep and bear arms is as a last resort to protect themselves against tyranny and government. The precise kind of tyranny that my colleagues are exercising today. If you are banning, if the purpose of this legislation is to ban these firearms because they shoot a cartridge with those terminal ballistics of a 223, then you plan, you absolutely plan to come after deer rifles. The number of these rifles doubled in the United States during your last assault weapons ban. If you think crime went down because of the last assault weapons ban, then you've got some explaining to do because the number of those rifles increased. Maybe, just maybe, people became safer.